So what is up guys, this, it's your boy Engine. in this video in particular I'm going to go through a game in which we have had 6 revives, I mean 7 revives actually and 2 response and we still managed to win the game so definitely stay tuned for that, it's gonna be one more commentary video so yeah just thank you all for watching, like if you like it and if you don't mind I'd really really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button because it would really help me and it allows me to keep going. So yeah, let's roll the intro. Okay, so how the game started, it was not nothing special, right? We just had, wanted to have some fun, so we aimed straight down for the ship. And I have, I've never been talking about this little thing, right? But if you want to fly like faster, you want to always like aim down a bit and then aim up upwards a bit again, right? So it basically just gives you a little bit more speed. So yeah, well, this time on the ship, we were kind of lucky because we didn't find kind of any weapon. So I just decided that uh, I don't really want to care about it. So yeah, I pretty much just jumped down just to be safe and loot it up right here. We have sp we have put an enemy, right? So pretty much what we've done was an, uh, nothing special, right? We only fought, and then suddenly I've got killed from sight. And in this point, what you should be doing is that you should always be marking your enemy, right? Because you wanna let your team know where exactly the enemy is, unless the enemy is like is trying to kill you, right? Because like if enemy wants to thirst you, you're pretty much just dead and there is no way like there is no way in hell that you can actually like that you can actually like ping him or something like that. But in this case I was kinda lucky. So yeah. Right here. We kept looting and we wanted to rotate, there, right? Because the thing is that we are literally like in the middle of the zone and if you are like in the middle of the zone at this time like with the position of the circle that we've had that game you need to move like a little bit like away from the ring just to get some enemies of card because it's not real it's not real like that easy to protect yourselves if you don't expect to be like to be attacked by someone right so we are only just rotating and trying to find some people and right now when we actually found someone i've i've literally immediately started fighting with them because i saw them actually fight someone else so I wanted to go in and right here pay attention to the Bangalore ultimate ability okay this this is mine ultimate ability I throw it to kill the enemies but it, I ended up killing myself with it okay like the final blow wasn't for my ultimate right I get it I've been sh I've got shot at but I've gotten hit once with my rocket from the ultimate which means that I've disoriented myself and I basically just kill myself because of that. And what you wanna like what you wanna learn from this situation is that no matter like when you wanna use your ultimate, think about the possible outcome, right? And right here I've had just a slight chance of hitting enemies and I've learned from it. I'll never do this shit again. And I will always focus more on throwing it a bit further. So, like after every single fight, you'll heal yourself up and cover, like cover all the possible sides that you can get attacked from, right? The same way we did right now. There was a guy that wanted to kill us from behind, but we are ready, right? Because we've been like covering all the sides, and right now you can see that my team didn't pay enough attention to the surroundings that they've actually got killed right both of them has got killed and what happened now is that there are two more people 
and I've managed to kill one of them, and then suddenly their enemy just started thirsting my friends. Why would you do it? Well, if you're like, let's just say, if you're like a really sad person and you want to just ruin someone's game, just go ahead and kill someone, right? Like the people here did. But no matter what, you'll get killed as they did. I've killed all, all three of them and it will always happen again because these people will only focus on themselves and you should pay attention to this shit, to this thing, right? Because if you're fighting with someone, thirsting his, like, thirsting his comrades or his buddies won't actually do anything, right? Because if you are thirsting like the person that's fighting with you, you need to f you need to shoot at him, not his teammates, because his teammates can hurt you. They are dead. While actually he can hurt you, and you have seen that right now, because I've actually killed all of them just because they were not paying too much attention to me. And right here, if you see how we fight, right? So we are fighting with the team in front of me. Well, I've got shot that from left side as well. And what I wanted to do here is that I wanted to take cover and then I wanted to go back and fight again. But what happened here is that my friend has got, has got sniped, right? Which was really, really unlucky. And he couldn't move like more further back, which was even more unlucky. And the enemy team just... Well, I don't get it, okay? But whatever, the enemy team has killed my friend, which means that it is the second respawn of this game. And we had to pick up his banner and deliver it to the beacon. And by this time we've had like four resurrections so far, or maybe five, I'm not sure. And this is our second respawn, right? So you can see that even if you are trying to save, save some of your friends, you can't actually save everyone. So please keep that in mind, because right here we have got attacked by a different team while going to the nearest beacon just to save our friend. And what I what I wanted to do is that I, of course, I wanted to save my friend. Like you see that my friend has got killed as well. But the second guy we've been playing with actually was picked up already, which means I can only deliver it to beacon. But if I chose to stay there and try to help my friend by killing these three enemies, there would be a really, really high chance of me getting killed as well and we'd have lost the game just of the decision. And I think it's really, really important to keep in mind that no, you cannot always save everyone, right? And this is a perfect example. Because you could have seen that once that we have once resurrected him and this time I'm resurrecting my friend because I couldn't get to him. And at this time I was thinking of actually going back for my friend and trying to resurrect him as well, but there was no beacon left, right? So what I've decided to do and what I actually recommend all of you doing is that I've only came here and I've tried to search everywhere for my friend just to mark for him where the possible loot is just so he can loot, loot something and yeah just so he can loot and get some stuff just to be ready to fight. Right now I've heard enemies like from really really far and this is really important you always always need to keep your sound high enough to actually hear enemies from sides as well. As you could have heard right now, I've turned around like even sooner than he knew, than he shot at me, right? Which means that I was ready to react in time. Uh, right here, I was able to react to the incoming attack from the person and actually I managed to kill him, right? And this time I've been paying attention to the top side 
to the mountain because they've had high ground and I've heard something from top. So what I wanted to do is that I want to play. I didn't want to play like a pussy strat, so I actually just went straight in and I just wanted to find them. And pretty much when I've heard them from left side, I just went in, tried to try to spam a little bit. But yeah, let's just say wingman is not the best weapon to spray with. So yeah, I just picked up my mastiff and I finished the fight with the mastiff. And as you can see. We have knocked the second enemy and then you could have only just seen like how how easy it is right to kill someone from closer and so keep that in mind that you should always always focus on either smg or a shotgun if you want to fight in close range and this is the reason why you can see how many revives we had how many respawns we've actually had thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next <laughs>